All right, I promised you a follow-up on the CDR valve and intake removal and gasket replacement back here at the temperature gauge. All that's done. And uh, I'm going to get to the bad part here in a minute. Now, here's the good part. Right here's the CDR valve that I got. And if you look, the bracket needed to be offset to make room for the new hose to accommodate for the different angle. Now, this is the part that I made. And I call it a manifold because it's a multiple uh, junction. This is made out of steel dipped in enamel. Alright, and that goes to the bottom of the CDR valve. Okay, and that's that whole arrangement is replacing a uh, a worn um, two-way elbow. Now instead of the solid um, lines, it went to the intake manifold, and now have um, heater hose. But it's a fairly thick wall; it won't collapse under vacuum, so I doubt there's any problem with that. And we go around to the other side. You can see how it snaked around in order to come to the other side of the intake without having any kinks in it. So that's that worked out just fine. The problem I have is right in this area let me see a little bit further back actually right in this area on the back of the head I still have a leak a uh, coolant leak so I've got uh, a head gasket that's going to have to come out. So whether I want it to or not, now I've got to go back in. All this that I've pulled off previously has got to come back off again. I'm supposed to have a J-code intake coming for the 6.2. And uh, when I go to reassemble, I can put that on. But uh, all the fuel line is going to have to come out. The injectors, the uh, glow plug is going to have to come out exhaust manifold uh, it's gonna be a bitch and I'm not looking forward to it but it's got to be done the cheapest I could find somebody to do it for me was 500 bucks and I'm afraid I've got more time than money at this point but as far as the other repairs have gone everything else has gone just fine everything else is working just fine